I'm not sure how long it's been since I did a bookshelf tour, but hello people that exist. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm deciding to remake my bookshelf sometime soon. So this bookshelf is not a rainbow. And they might even redo my other bookshelf, which is way over there. But I don't know yet. This is my fantasy bookshelf I'm doing first. Well, yeah. All of this is fantasy, pretty much. Some other things could be classified as... I don't know. But no sci-fi. The sci-fi is over that way for some reason. I didn't put it in the same spot. But let's just get into this. Oh, do it the way booktubers, all the fancy booktubers do. They do a little short clip with every book. Actually, no, I'll start with my little thingies. A 3D printed blob over there. A little stone owl that's a bit chipped. Another stone owl that is not a bit chipped. Then up top I have a weird toy thing. And I an adapter. And they have a froge. Music. Oh, and I have um my Phoenix pin from my Owl Create Exclusive Heart of Flames edition. I really want that feather pin and the special crown of feathers, but um, not right now. Box sets first. This is the 1980s Lord of the Rings trilogy. They'll maybe take out each book a bit. The Hobbit. Sorry, the Fellowship of the Ring. Sorry for this horrible camera work. The Two Towers, and the only cover that, well, one of the two covers that's slightly redeemable in this, The Return of the King. So I thought this through a bit better. This is the Heroes of Olympus, Olympus 10th Anniversary Paperback Box Set. And then I'll take out all the books in the show. Here's the Lost Hero. So, very cartoonish Festus compared to the Lost Hero I will show you later. The Son of Neptune, them on whatever the boat's called. Percy, Frank looking really stupid. Hazel looking scared, not seasick. Annabeth and, like, whatever. The Arachne. Arachne looking really creepy. Annabeth and Percy. And then... The only cover I really like in this box set is this. Percy, Annabeth, Piper, Jason, Frank, Leo, and Hazel. Yeah, I changed my name. Oh, and it comes with a poster. I'm sorry for all of the noise outside if you hear anything. But this is the longest series I've read. Um, the Mortal Instruments, and I have read The Infernal Devices, just so you know. I just don't have it here. I don't have it at all, actually. And I have not read any of her other books. Here's City of Bones, since I couldn't fit it. City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire. Kind of a knockoff of The Burning Brid by John Flanagan. All of these are not the actual things. This is, I don't know, cheap box set ripoff. Not cheap, but you know what I mean. Any of... John Flanagan's books, well, no, any of the Ranger's Apprentice books are the fakes, except on my other bookshelf. Sorry for talking too much. <laughs> Eldest by Christopher Paolini. Nocturna by Maya Motain. And this is not the special Blue Owl Crate edition, as One you can see. One of my two signed books, The Black Fortress by E.G. Foley. And yes, it is signed. And then I also have some notes over there on... The sides of my giant black fortress poster that was my Halloween costume. But, um, it's beautiful. I got it for free, and it's sick. Which I love even more. That makes me love it even more. Somehow, I don't know how I love it even more, but I do. Eric's Ransom by John Flanagan. 
also one of the fakies. King Chronicles Survival Guide by Rick Riordan. With shimmery stuff. And it looks much cooler on camera than it is in real life. You can see it kind of superimposes sometimes. But that's a knockoff British version of the Battle of the Labyrinth. When I ordered this, I, I wanted the British version, but it didn't come. It came in this icky version. And then the beautiful Battle of the Labyrinth. I'm just doing these together to make it faster. Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palprito. Beautiful. My new favorite book, Heart of Flames by Nikki Palprito. Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes, containing beautiful artwork by John Locke. Serpent Shadow by Rick Riordan. Hamp Half-Blood Confidential, Brooklyn House Magician's Manual, and my final Rick Riordan book I had to read to complete everything, Hotel Valhalla Guide to the Norse Worlds. I am really, really, really excited for um, the Camp Jupiter... Confidential. No, Camp Jupiter Classified. Demigod Sorry. Diaries by Rick Riordan. I only have one Rick Riordan book to complete my collection. But this... Well, but... Uh, and that's the... Like, this book is the last one I read. I read um, the Demigods and Magicians. Just, I don't have it. Well, actually, I read it in the... Like little excerpts of other. We have Jinx is Fired by Sage Blackwood. The fastest way to love reading. Like, you need to read the other two books. And it's mega floppy and floppiness is always great. Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. Not the hideous version. No. The Battle for Scandia by John Flanagan. Ugh. Tiger at Midnight by Swati Teardala, and I do not have the Arch Rat Dawn. I might want it, maybe not, probably not. Hidden Oracle by John Rock, or by Rick Riordan. I was commenting on John Rocco's art, but like, I just think he did it amazingly to show Capallo's former glory, but what he is now. Because the, that's like the godly, but this is what New York looks like, what the real world is compared to his past vision. Priory of the Orange Tree, also known as... Wow. Time to throw up on top of Anaclusmos, or however you pronounce that, Anaclusmos, something. The machete, because Anaclusmos, Anaclusmos is a machete, not a sword. By Rick Riordan, a great example of how John Rocco uses only one color in the whole cover, yet well, pretty much one color, just different shades of it to create an amazing picture. All of the Percy Jackson series and only the Red Pyramid, not the whole King Chronicles. He, do, he does that, and it's very impressive. The Burning Maze by Rick Riordan. I'll try to stop talking about the covers of Rick Riordan book, Riordan's books and, and not talk about them at all. Now I'll shut up. The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan. The Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series. Jack! The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. Little interlude here. This is going to be a three-part series now that I think of it. I'm going to finish this shelf and do half of the next shelf, ending with the Titan's Curse. And then I'm going to do the rest of this and, uh, and the top of that other shelf in another video. Then I'll do the rest of the books in a third. Thank you for looking at this for Paolini. And I finally found the dust jacket. It was ripped and flattened on my brother's floor. And I found Brisinger's too. Just so you know. The Emperor of Nihonja. Air by Cinda Williams China. The Kings of Clonmel by John Flanagan. Jinx's Magic by Sage Blackwood. Also known as Ridden Magic because it's magical and like an amazing story. Buried Book Game of One. Stars by Sayan Tani Dasgupta. I probably butchered that name, but it's green spine and purple. Beautiful cover, though. I love it. I think, wait, it's the same artist, right? Mm, I think it's the same artist of another book. Same artist just of the Blood Guard trilogy, which is over in my other books. But The Lost Air by E.G. Foley. And Yes, I had to tape on a cover because 
my brother and I ruined it when we didn't care about books. Well, he still doesn't care, but when I didn't. And then I patched it up, but yeah, hmm. disappointing. Jinx paperback and a hardcover copy of Jinx because I thought I had lost bit this, but then I found it. So now I have two. Read this before you read this. Before you read this. Even though this is like the best. Well, this is my favorite. This might be the best written. Actually, this might objectively be the best. But this is my favorite. This is my second favorite. This seems objectively the best. Sorry for ranting. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. T. Jackson and the Olympians, The Ultimate Guide. Also, it has that, but I don't know. Cool, Just right? Found Land by John Flynn. The Deep by E.G. Foley. This is beautiful. Beautiful. The Ship of the Dead by Rick Riordan. Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. The Undersaturated Ruins of Gorland by John Flanagan. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Nine from the Nine Worlds by Rick Riordan. The Dark Portal by E.G. Foley. And I decided, I'll decide to mention that, which is like a poster thing, and my little sticker. You can't see. Well, now you can. I have all of these E.G. Foley related things because I got them free. I didn't have to pay for them at all. This thing came with the books. That's also why. Deep I Blue by Jennifer Donnelly, which I completely forgot I had. I haven't read it. I just <laughs> forgot I had it somehow. His Dark Materials Trilogy by Philip Pullman. All in a giant bind-up, which is... Very heavy. Sorcerer in the North and the Siege of Masinda by John Flanagan. I'm just going to mention that I read Eric's Ransom where it goes in time, not in the series. So I read it as my fifth book. Then I read this as the sixth and seventh because that's how the storyline goes. Ice Fire by Chris DeLacy, which I also completely forgot I had. I haven't read it. I've only read the first book, but I have the second but not the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and I think there's also a seventh. Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan, also known as, according to Poland Bananas Books, Damn. And <laughs> speaking of, Damn, this is a really, really nice, um, like, shade, like, this is a really, really nice way of showing blue. Blue but a really nice image. Kind of like the Battle of the Labyrinth, all of these original Percy Jackson books. And the Red Pyramid, sorry for that near drop. So there is somewhere around less than a third of my books. Whew. I have a lot. But, um, thanks for watching, I guess. I changed my name, but now I am a musical book, and I'm going to go play music as a book. Why do I always go so close to the camera at the end? I don't know. I did two of those breaths. The first one because I actually breathed. The second one because I thought I saw something change on the screen. And it was when my other breath happened. Bye. Um, are you going to stop? It decided to. Goodbye.